Hi guys, I want to show you color in conditioner. Mostly I make art, tea, and herb videos, but I thought, uh, I thought we would do some color today. And color and conditioner is a really great find. Um, whether you use permanent color, demi-permanent, or semi-permanent, they all are not permanent. Um, for fashion colors, most often semi-permanent colors, uh, they say you get six weeks. I guess some people do. I've really gotten like a week or two and already it's fading a, quite a lot. So color and conditioner is really a great solution. People, a bunch of people told me that before and I bought a few things like uh, you know, a color shampoo, a color conditioner, and they really didn't do much. I kind of thought the whole color conditioner thing was bogus because it didn't seem like I got an effect. And then eventually I tried mixing my own and boom, the results were incredible. Um, it really just makes the color so much more vibrant. So, you know, whatever color you like to use, um, Pravana line just keeps getting bigger and bigger. They've got so many awesome colors. Um, I love this uh, Alpha Parf Milano jeans color. Uh, since I don't have a whole lot of hair, I like the little pump. It's really convenient for, you know, mixing up a batch. Uh, the Sparkle, the Joyco, they're all really cool colors. But actually my favorite right now, Sally's came out with this new line, their Gemstone collection. Uh, these five ge <laughs> Gemstone colors, there you go. Um, tanzanite, Sapphire, Jade, Rose Quartz, and Garnet. And I think I've tried all five and they're all pretty cool. They do have a little bit of a gemstone sort of sense quality to them. And I really like this Garnet right now. It's my favorite. So just take, you know, whatever conditioner you like. I like this K-Pak color therapy. You can get huge bottles of it pretty cheap. And uh, a cheap kitchen scale. Um, turn it on. Zero out your container. And then um, you can either use one of these little color keys to squeeze your tube, or you can use from painting one of these little paint tube squeezers. And I'm just gonna use one tube, 60 mLs of color, and 60 mLs of conditioner. Mix it up and apply. Um, I really love these containers. Conditioner tends to be so thick that like when you use it in the shower, you know, I, I've got a dispenser and it always clogs the dispenser. Or if you put it in a bottle, it's hard to squeeze it out. So these were, I actually did get these at a beauty supply place, but you could probably find them, you know, kind of anywhere. Um, and it's just a, a really nice size to, to put conditioner in and you can just kind of scoop it out and apply. Um, I wash my hair about three times a week and, um, you know, two big tips for making color last longer is to not wash your hair so much. Uh, so, you know, three is probably plenty, um, or maybe even less would be okay. Uh, it, it depends. I've used the dry shampoos. They kind of, they sort of work. They're not totally great for me. Um, the other big tip is to wash your hair in cold water, which absolutely makes a difference, but I just hate doing it. Um, I don't really like washing my hair in cold water in the summer and I hate it in the winter. I um, usually kayak two, three times a week and even in the summer, a hot shower is really nice after, but again, especially in the winter, you know, you've just been out in the water for a couple hours and I really just love my hot, my, my overindulgent, too long for a Californian hot showers. Um, and so, you know, when I do my hair, I kind of feel like I have to turn it to cold to make the, the color last a little bit longer. But now with color and conditioner, you really don't because this just deposits so much color. It's really like an abundance of color. It works super well. Um, so now I just take hot showers and just, you know, just enjoy the, the, the hot water and it's a great thing. Um, so can't recommend that enough. And I've also maybe once a week or less will either do like a protein or an Olaplex, um, which I, you can also mix with color. A protein with color works great. Uh, they say you shouldn't mix Olaplex with color because it kind of doesn't make sense because um, Olaplex is trying to, you know, heal uh, shaft, not exactly clo w close, well, sort of close up, if you will. Um, uh, so in theory, it's not supposed to work, but 
it, it seems to work okay for me. I, the color deposits and you, you kind of, the, the hair feels like it's been repaired, so it kind of works. Um, I wouldn't use both in the same week, but maybe one week I'd do protein, and maybe the next week do Olaplex, maybe the next week do nothing. Um, and then if I do those, I'd probably do them instead of the conditioner, but um, color and conditioner, great find. Uh, Long-lasting color and hot showers, yay. Um, good luck, enjoy.